Hello fellow video gaming minions, doing alright? I hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a fabulous day, morning, evening or afternoon depending on when you're watching this. Now I just thought of a question it just came to me, I, I don't know what possessed me to make me want to ask this question I don't know if it's been asked before but if it hasn't, well that's good and then I look forward to hearing from your responses in a video response or in the comments section, whichever one you prefer. Um, I'm pretty sure in the title I will have something like Will Modern Outprice Retro Games or something like that because I don't think I can fit the whole title in. But here's the, the whole title for it, you know, because of YouTube limits and the title and stuff like that. I don't think I could put it all in. But here it is. My question is, is this. Will modern video games outprice retro video games when modern games become retro? That's the question. And to that I say, nah. I say no because I believe that gaming back in the 80s and 90s produced a lot of iconic characters that made gaming that extra awesome. Not to mention the fact that gaming the gaming library of video games back then were huge, especially in their variety of gameplay. You had so many genres, so many. Not to say that you don't now, but these video game libraries back then were a lot. They were humongous, big time, especially for the NES alone. That, that game console was just simply amazing. And I've still yet to even turn mine on. <laughs> well, not just yet. Anyway, let's mention just a few characters of the 80s so we can remember or jog a few memories. I mean, whether they were successful in making series or not, they still had their games and I'm pretty sure some of them, some of us, would, would have enjoyed them anyway. Okay, there was Frogger. You know? Try not to run over that little toad, poor little frog. And yet he dies when you go in the water. What's all that about? He's a frog. And yet you have to stay above float in order to get to the other side. What's the logic in that? Game logic at its finest there. <laughs> As a frog goes into its natural habitat, it dies. Oh well, that's just like a lion not allowed to be going around in the, uh, the safari, isn't it? Chasing zebras or whatever. Pieces of meat. Pieces of meat. Anyway, I'm going off script here. Um, yeah, Frogger. Uh, there was Bomberman. There was Samus Aran. Uh, as you know from Metroid series. There was Bill Riser and Lance Bean. From one of the most difficult video games ever created. Contra. You see, I wish I had like, you know... Uh, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll say that in a minute. I'll say that in a minute. There was Mega Man. There was Donkey Kong, you had Link from the Zelda series, you had Pac-Man, you had Simon Belmont from Castlevania, you had Pit from Kid Icarus, and you had the legendary plumber himself, well, carpenter turned plumber, Super Mario, or when he was first, you know, and his Jumpman. Ah. So with um, these characters said, they all had their own iconic video games for themselves and some of them like you know with Super Mario they even had their little sidekicks or partners like Yoshi have their own games in the 90s um, oh yeah what was I going to say yeah that's right I wish I had my own little um, I could show you pictures of these characters or gameplay footage about here or there right but I just don't have the software I need Video editing software, my fellow gaming minions. Crying out loud, I don't have it. I might need your help for that. Got any suggestions? Leave it in the comments section. If you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. Continue watching. But that was just characters in the 80s of gaming. How about the 90s? Well, you had characters like Kirby, Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy, you had Duke Nukem, you had Crash Bandicoot, you had 
Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid, who's still going today. You had the gorgeous Lara Croft, who's still going today. You had Spar the Dragon. You had Fox McCloud from the Star Fox series. You had Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, the little little hedgehog who just runs around in a jolly cartoon world, just like real hedgehogs don't. <laughs> so, whoops, careful of the camera. Yeah, um, camera's fine. Good. You cannot deny that these characters have um, have had some brilliant games throughout their series of being in existence in the virtual world. They have also been in their prime at some point in the golden years of gaming, whether they came out in the 80s or 90s, whether they just had one success or a couple. These characters have left a, a high mark in gaming for many gamers who played their games, and I have seen prices for such video games online and in shops to be sold on a very expensive amount of money. But these are just a few characters to mention, out of many others. It's getting ridiculous when you see how much retro games cost now, whether on eBay, online, or some other video gaming shop that you go to, some other retro shop that sells retro video games and consoles, and you see these games like, whether they're boxed or not, they can be rare or extremely rare depending on when they came out and how many copies were sold worldwide can have a huge impact and a huge influence on the gaming price right i remember going to my favorite retro shop that i go to and i saw castlevania for the n64 fully boxed go for about 60 quid 60 pounds 60 smackaroonies now, that's not too bad at all when you compare it to most of the prices for older games. Plus, I heard that the N64 version of Castlevania was not that good anyways, but I judge games for myself by playing them. I'm not going to buy what other people say. But anyway, with the way modern games are going, with your yearly releases, such as your Call of Duties and your sport games... Not that there weren't sport games in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, right? But at least they were fun. Sport games today, I'm, I'm not really digging it. Like Dig Dug. No, I'm not really digging it. Um, but yeah, not that there, were, there weren't any sport games going up in the 80s and 90s. But some sport games, I guess it depends on... The type, like Mario Strikers, for example, that was fun. I enjoyed that. But not your FIFAs or your Pro Evos or or your rugby games or your American football ones. Oh, I'm just not really digging like Madden. Nah, not really into them. Or your basketball ones. I do like these sports. I do like playing them, actually. I prefer going out and playing them rather than playing them at home or online. So, I'm going to go back to the matter at hand. Sport games that keep getting a, re a remake every few years. And there's such other games that come out that are fun to play for certain gamers. Can you honestly see the day when modern gaming, when it becomes retro, will the games outprice games from retro times now? To be honest, I can't see it happening. There are not really any games into, in today's modern industry I would consider a jewel or a gem that I will hold nostalgia for in the future. I... I've played on games on the 360 and the PlayStation 3, Xbox One and the PS4. Uh, I honestly can't see me having much nostalgic value or nostalgic memories for when I grow older into my greyhood years. And um, I would look back and think, do you know what? Maybe there were great games on those systems that I was blinded to. But nope, I played on quite a few games, and do you know what? I've uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Uh, not really. Uh, um, I'm not really selling it, am I? But the fact is, I just don't see myself having any happy memories of the current generation of games. I just I don't have it. 
it's, I've tried out video games on the modern industry and I'm just not liking it. There aren't really games I'll consider a gem or a jewel. There aren't really many. At all. So, as I was growing up in the 90s, however, as a kid, I really loved the video games that I was playing. Many of which I spent hours upon hours, hours turned into days, and days turned into years. Believe it or not, that's your choice. But until I completed it, and start to play the game all over again. That's how awesome gaming was back then. But not now, not so much. Not for me anyway. So, my fellow video gaming minions, let me take this off. Do you feel that modern video games, when they become retro, will outprice retro video games? I personally believe and feel, no, I don't think they will. There are many, many gems on the systems from the 70s, 80s and 90s that when you look at the price now for those games, in the future they're probably going to be a whole lot more expensive, big time. Because as a community in the retro gaming community, we look out for these games. You know, we try to, as, as a collector, we have them in our collection, whether we played the games, whether we grew up with them um, from, the, from our childhoods or not, there's a lot of games before my time which I look forward to playing and which I look forward to collecting. But I better collect them now before they go up in price even more. Because I can see that happening. Right? But does that does that mean to say that retro gaming now is gonna be ignored in the future? Who knows? Who knows? Well it's not gonna be ignored by me and a lot of other YouTubers on here. I I doubt I doubt that. I really much doubt it. There are a lot of gamers in the seventies, eighties and nineties, myself included. So, my fellow video gaming minions, I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to hearing in you know, a video response or in the comments section, whichever you feel comfortable with. Video responses will be great. But thank you very much for watching, and may Retro Gaming live on.